off with the core fashional to cover up my big pores. And then we are going in with the Naked Skin Bronzing Balm. And this is totally unnecessary. But I decided that I wanted to look a little bit more tan than I am. And I just have this laying around. So this is absolutely unnecessary to do. You do not have to do this. I was just being a dum dum da dum 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 and you know putting it all over my face like a crazy person so you know just ignore this step it's fine you don't have to bronze your skin if you don't want to I just am pale as a ghost and wanted to look a little bit more alive a little bit different I guess. So now I'm going in with my Magic Lumi foundation in the color W112 I think it is. I honestly do not like that foundation at all. And um, then I'm going in with my Naked Skin Concealer in the color Fair Neutral. I had to pause because I wasn't sure what I was talking about. But it's Fair Neutral, I believe. I think that's a color. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a color. But I'm just going to conceal my under eyes because they are special. And then I'm just gonna conceal everything else and buff it in with a beauty blender. A dry one because, I don't know, I like the way the dry beauty blender buffs in my concealer better than the wet one. Cause the wet one, like when it's, well not when it's wet, when it's damp, it kinda takes away some of the product that I lay down and I don't like that. So I like the dry beauty blender. It's very, very nice. It's very effective in, in both ways that you use it, but I just look how seamlessly it blends out that under eye concealer. Oh, I'm in love with a sponge. Okay. technique done by the one and only Jaclyn Hill, my queen, forever and ever. And after dropping it on the ground, I'm going to take the two lightest shades, the yellow one and the pinky-ish one, and I'm going to set my under eye concealer because we want that stuff to stay. Then we're just going to set the rest of our face and our neck that we put that bronzing balm on just to make sure that everything stays in place. But again, don't do the bronzing balm. Okay, and now we're on to eyes and I'm gonna set with Paint Pot and Painterly because it's my favorite ever. Cover up all that vintage, yes. And then I'm just gonna set it with Porcelain from the Mega Pro 2 palette. Is, is that how you say it, La Rock? Mega Pro 2 palette, and then I'm going in with Tawny from the same palette, into the curves. Sorry, I was yawning and I was trying to cover it up. I think I did a pretty good job there. And then we're going in and deepening everything up with Saddle, and we're going to bring it on to the lid a little bit, just because. And then we're going to spritz our brushes, or soak our brushes, and Fix Plus, I'm going to use this beautiful brown, shimmery, almost reddish a little bit, um, shadow from the wonderful Makeup Forever Artist Palette 1, which is amazing in so many ways. And then on top, for extra emphasis, emphasis, I will be using Chanel's New Moon Cream Shadow. This shadow is so beautiful. It is so perfect for the lid just to brighten up the colors and get a little bit more of a sparkle to the lid. It's just, it's my favorite, okay? It's my favorite. Don't judge. And then for a little 
little extra dimension that you really can't see, I'm just taking um, a light gold shadow and tapping it on top. I'm taking the tame, the tame, the same two shades, tawny and saddle, and I'm running them under my lash line just to balance the look out. You know, we got to balance. You must balance, my child. And then I randomly decided, oh, I'm just gonna tight line with my Mac PowerPoint liner, you know, just casually. And then I'm going back to the lower lash line and blending it out with the color melon, because, you know, I just like to hop back and forth between dimensions, you know, just, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get by, okay? I'm gonna highlight the inside corner of my eyes and line my eyes, just a small little tiny teeny line because that don't need much. And then I'm going to put on my Vegas Day Shining Star Lashes which are amazing. And then we're going to do my brows. Let me tell you something about my brows. I don't know what I was trying to do. But I made my brows weird and I concealed them trying to cover it up. So I would suggest just do your brows how you do your brows. I'm still experimenting with my brows, trying to figure out what I like and what I don't. So you know, you do, you do you too. You know, do your brows, but however you feel, and don't do your brows, or you know, I don't know, just do whatever you want. You know, it's fine, it's fine with me. And then we're going to now contour with this new Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. As I on and die, and then we're just gonna set it with this shade of light palette from Kevin Day because it's just so amazing. Yes, contour that face. I need to stop. I need to stop talking. Then we are going to bronze with this Sonia Kashuk bronzer, which probably isn't meant for my skin tone or anything. But it's super shimmery. Well, not shimmer. It's super shiny. Super interesting. It's a little yellow, but it's okay. Because I like it. Then I'm going in with this NARS blush in the color Sin. Let me tell you about this blush. This is the most beautiful blush in the world to me. It is perfect for fall. No matter how much you put on, it looks beautiful. No matter if you do too much, it looks beautiful. And no matter what skin tone, it looks great. And then we're gonna highlight with some champagne pop. You know, we gotta get that Jaclyn Hill glow going, you know. You know, we gotta represent the queen, you know. While she's doing her thing, us small people gotta represent her in the community, you know. And then I'm going to bake my face. And by the way, uh, just a warning about baking my face, I do not clean it off. But just take a brush and just clean it off. But I didn't because I forgot that I put it on. So I look like an idiot at the end of this video trying to pose. So just take off your bake when you're done, okay? That's all I have to say. Because I forgot. Because I'm a forgetful person. I could forget my name if I wanted to. And then we're going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is not the tattoo liner. What am I talking about? Lord, help me up above as I stare up at you through the sky. Help me. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Exorcism. And it is my favorite thing in the entire world. It is this beautiful purpley maroon shade. And I just, oh my god, it's so perfect on the lips. It is perfect for fall and winter. It's amazing. And then I decided that it wasn't enough. So I wanted to have a little bit of glossy lips. So I took some of Max See Through. And you know, I just I tapped it on my lip. You know, give it that little bit of a glow, that little bit of punch, you know, just doing my thing, even though I'm probably not supposed to put um, gloss over liquid lipstick, but we're going to ignore that for now because it actually looked pretty cool. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'm sorry you had to put up with me, but just know that I love you and that like this video because there's more amazing stuff that will be coming like this. So like this video if you like it and subscribe because there's always more coming. And comment down below what is your favorite winter look and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.